Dear Diary, I went to Delhi. Just for a day, but nevertheless, Delhi. It's hard to put into words everything that went down, and I know some things just can't be translated via writing. Like the first experience riding a rickshaw, with the wind slapping against my face. A sunrise shared with friends at what felt like a palace straight out of storybooks. I worry that words alone won't sufficiently justify the wonders of these experiences, even though I do promise that the memories are in there somewhere. Hmm, alright, let's try this again. Holy shit, I'm in Delhi now. I can't believe I'm actually in Delhi. It feels like a dream. I feel like this whole trip feels like a dream, but to be here, like, in the capital, beyond words. This is Adapter Inception. <laughs> so, my mom had adapters, and she said these have eye on them. I think they're for India, but they might be for Italy. <laughs> Can I introduce you to the vlog? Oh, yeah. But okay. Do I look good? <laughs> yes. So this is our friend Mavi, and she's going to show us around mm -hmm. North India, and we're starting with Delhi. And we're really hungry. Yeah. And we're yeah. super <laughs> freaking hungry. We're going <laughs> to run away. Let's go. We took a rickshaw to Dilly Hot, which, as Wikipedia describes, is an open-air market, food plaza, and craft bazaar. We're on a rickshaw right now. <laughs> What was that rickshaw? It was 90 rupees, which is like a dollar and a few cents. Oh my god. <laughs> I was super impressed by all the stores. But first, food. Classy, please. Yeah. Savory or sweet? What are you savory? Sorry. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> In Delhi. Oh I've been Mom, waiting been four, four years, years to eat this again. Just <laughs> you, yeah? Yeah. This is something I will make with all the land. I'm gonna do a picture. Honey. Go. That is one big ass chili. <laughs> Sure. You know what is this for? No. For getting high. Now I'm yes. saying this is all magic boxes, pipes. Cool. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. This is something very special. And look at this Buddha. It's a Buddha. <laughs> Wow. This is for Scooby okay. Snacks. Where did you point. learn your New York accent? Right. What's your name? My name is Emily. Hey Emily, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> From Americans, they love my art. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> A vendor offered to paint an elephant on my nail. Goodbye. <laughs> This way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Take out, take out. We also looked at scarves and got to try some snacks. Sherry. This is seven layers. Sherry. The next part of our night was both exhausting and exhilarating. The city was so vibrant and so bustling. Whoever said that if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere clearly has not spent a night in Delhi. This neighborhood, called Nizamudin, smelled so good that I wished I had been more hungry. Then we explored one of the main Sufi shrines in India. We had to leave our shoes at the entrance, which made Amelia a bit nervous because she had brought one of her favorite pairs of boots. We also covered our hair with the scarf we bought in Dilly Hot. We purchased some flower petals as an offering to the Sufi saints before entering the main part of the mausoleum, 
we were immediately met with bright colors and music. We also lit some incense sticks. As we left, Amelia and I felt a bit peckish and we shared this kebab. After that, Amelia befriended a goat who would later unfortunately turn into a kebab. Then we went to Con Market, and while most everything was closed, we did run into one familiar store. There's a lot right here. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Are you happy to be in Paris? <laughs> The next day started with a sunrise trip to Humayun's tomb. Good morning! Just when I thought the architecture couldn't astonish me more, it somehow did at each new corner that we turned. He gets a huge tomb for us to remember. <laughs> I have never seen a sunrise so pretty in my life. Because it was only dawn, we enjoyed sunbathing in the entirely empty space before heading on to our next destination, Sundar Nursery. We saw a green parrot fly through the air, which I thought was cool until Amelia told me we have those in America. Then I remember I'm afraid of birds. <gasps> the park had some more remnants of Mughal architecture. Then we went for breakfast at this gorgeous outdoor restaurant surrounded by gardens. Yeah. As we left, we found a peacock. Then we took a rickshaw to our next destination, which was supposed to be Old Delhi. But our driver was apparently a really great salesman and convinced us to let him take us to a few other tourist sites along the way in return for more money. I guess me and Amelia clearly stuck out as tourists. <laughs> and he was like, you can give me whatever you want to give me. Then some adorable school children wanted to say hi to us on the way out. Finally, we were on our way to Old Delhi, but not before I freaked out after seeing some wild monkeys for the first time. Our first stop was Paranze Wali Gali, a famous narrow street in the Chandni Chok area where we had parathas for lunch. It's really high. Then we checked out the markets surrounding the Jama Masjid Mosque, where I had some of the best chai I ever had tried in my life. I think they boiled it in some special way, which gave it such a rich and flavorful taste. Next, we grabbed some street food before entering the lehenga shop, <laughs> where we browsed for lehengas to wear for the upcoming wedding of Mambi's cousin. <laughs> Blue. Yeah. Look 
चल दे दूंगा स्टिचिंग करा के मेजरमेंट लेके ना सिला दूंगा We grabbed a seat on the women's only cart on the metro to our next destination. Here we're at the Bangla Sahib, a Sikh gurdwara or worshiping place. Mangi would go to places like this growing up, only smaller and more local to her. The one we're at today is one of the most significant in Delhi. We washed our feet before entering, but unfortunately, I was not allowed to film on the inside. Afterwards, we even got a tour of the kitchens of the Gurdwara. The religion is very welcoming, so much so that volunteers will come here to cook free meals all day to literally anybody who wants them, every single day of the year. So Amelia tried this coffee slash milkshake place a few years ago when she was in India and she liked it so much that we all went back. And I'm the only one who got a milkshake which I'm actually really surprised by. Yeah, it's really good. It's really sweet. You want to try it? It's good. Yeah. Mmm. Maybe I should have gotten that. So good. We ton of momos by here, but we're gonna go to um, a specific momo place by our Airbnb. That's supposed to be really, really good. Yeah. This is our last rickshaw. Yeah. <laughs> and we're stuck in traffic. So, the, so and we're yeah. breathing in the fumes for the memories. <laughs> The last rickshaw ride lasted way longer than anticipated. There was so much traffic that at a standstill, people would walk up and down the lanes of cars, trying to sell items or ask for change. When we returned to the Airbnb, we met up with one of Mombi's friends, and Mombi displayed one of her purchases of the day. You bought this from Chantai. No, no, this is from Janpad. Yeah. And what did yeah. you buy this? Well, I just wanted to be that one weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but this just. And this isn't even your size. You'll be here. This one. <laughs> no, it's the it's, it's the style. It's the yeah. It's the oversized style. <laughs> we met up with more of Mandi's friends, walked around the market, and finally grabbed some Indo Chinese food. Hi guys. <laughs> Is it now? I don't know, but I'm somehow full of energy now. <laughs> Then we checked out one more restaurant. Hi guys, so I just found out in Delhi that the drinking age is 25 and because I'm 24 and a half, this is the last time I'm going to feel young. I feel really good about myself. <laughs> Water only. <laughs> After we had sufficiently embarrassed ourselves by vlogging in front of the group, we headed back to the Airbnb. What time is it? So that was our day in Delhi. We went to Agra the next day, but my hands are getting kind of tired. So I think I'm gonna wait on that entry till next time. You'll have to stay tuned.